So Emma just found me and said she's already done. Either she rushed through it or she found some really amazing items. So I'm a little worried. And Matt. And with Mickey ears and Butter Bears. Today we have a really fun challenge. Today we're gonna go into the world of Disney here at Disney Springs and we have a hundred dollars to spend. Now we're not actually gonna spend any money, but we're gonna show you what we think is the best way to spend some money. So we have to buy an item for each of these categories under a hundred dollars. Now this is before tax the ball. We have to buy something for ourselves, for our imaginary child for our house and for our fur babies. And um, if you guys didn't know, we have a cat and we have a dog, so we can pick whichever fur baby we want. And um, we can interpret these categories any way we want. And then whoever, and then we're gonna let you guys decide on our Instagram and in the comments down below who we, who think, who you think got the best deal with our $100. Ready? Let's go. Let's get started. I am going to kick her butt. Who's the, who's the cheapskate? I'm all about value. No, 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 let's no. go. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. All right. See ya. Yeah. All right, let's go. So I think I'm gonna start with my item for my child because we walk in and you go straight to the toy section. So I think that's what I'm gonna roll with. Uh, we'll see if that's a good bet. Um, but I'm already seeing some really cute stuff. I'm gonna try to stray away from like some animals, even though I love them so much. But, oh my gosh, guys, you have to see this. They have this DuckTales sweatshirt that I'm absolutely in love with. I'm gonna see how much this is. Uh, where's the tag? Okay, the tag's here. Okay, so it's a little pricey for our budget. It's $35, but I think we can find a better deal. So, uh, let's keep looking. All right, guys, so here's what we're doing. We're waiting for Emma to get away here. Here's our strategy. So, me being the nice guy that I am, um, I am going to shop for myself last and I'm gonna get something really cool with whatever budget we have left But I'm gonna take things in priority here. So we've got the thing for the house We've got the pets and then we've got the kid you got to take care of the kid first So let's go and see what kind of cool stuff we can buy from our imaginary seven-year-old kid and uh, We will fill in the rest. So world of Disney has plenty of great options for kids so if I'm shopping for a girl, I'm coming over here first because this is where they have all the princess dresses. And so that is a, a hit thing with all the little girls here at Disney. Lots of options. Um, got even some cute little Disney babies here. That's pretty neat. I don't know, would a seven year old like that? Probably so, they're, they're not too old for that, right? Let's keep looking. Let's see what we can get to maximize our dollar. So if we're averaging out everything, we're looking at about $25 per gift. That being said, I'm willing, since this is for the kid, and since I think I can save some money on at least myself and the fur baby, the, uh, the pet, I'm thinking that I can probably get away with somewhere between 30 and 35 for the kids. So let's see what our best value might be for that amount. So I just found this super cool little lounge fly-esque bag. It's $29.99 and this would be just about perfect, I think, for a little girl that was about seven years old. Um, really cute, it's Little Mermaid themed got some pockets they could use it even um, you know as just like a little summer bag like when they were taking things over to a friend's house or of course if they're here at Disney we can put lots of things in a bag like that to carry around the park so I'm thinking this could be a bit good bet but let's keep looking all right so I'm looking over here and I really really like these because I've seen these before they are the monorail and uh, tram sets I think they're really, really cool. I'm gonna see how much they are. All right, so here are the four-piece die-cast metal monorail sets. I think these are gonna be more expensive than we're looking at. So these are $25 or $24.99. Uh, they also have these radio uh, remote control monorail vehicles, which are cool. Also $25, so I think, bang for your butt, I think I'm gonna get 
this one, but I'm gonna continue. So these, I think, would be great for like on your way home. They have different like craft kits and like doodle sets that are Disney things. So they have a Disney princess one and a um, Toy Story one and then a Spider-Man one, which I think is super cool. So whatever your kid's into, maybe on your car ride home, if you're taking a car or even a plane ride, this would be great. They are, let's see how much are these? $20. So that's a pretty good deal for Disney prices. For your, for your younger ones, they have a character train radio control vehicle, which is cute. I'm gonna see how much is it. It's $30, so that's a little bit more expensive than the monorail, but this remote control monorail is what I think I'm going to get. The princess dresses are always a big hit, but it would also be a hit to my wallet as well. That would be $60. That would only leave me $40 for three other gifts. So we really can't do that today. So when Emma was younger, she used to love these animators collection figurines. And uh, this one right here has, I believe, all of the official princesses. And it is really a good deal. $27.99 and you get all of the princesses. So that's what we're looking at. We're looking at 11 princesses. That's not bad, that's like $3 a princess. Here would be another cool toy for a little boy. So this one's $44.99 and it is a Pixar toy box. And uh, you can use uh, some of these items that are in here to fight, uh, to fight off your opponents. So that looks like it could be fun for a little boy, but definitely a little bit pricier than what we're looking for today. So I think one of my big things is I wanna make sure that whatever I get is something that's gonna be fun for this kid. Um, I remember when I was seven, I didn't necessarily love getting clothes. Maybe the little girls are a little bit different than that. Um, but I wanna make sure that we get something that they can enjoy, not only here at Disney World, but probably once they get back to their hometown as well. So let's see what we can do to make that a reality. I remember when I was a teenager, we came to Walt Disney World and as a thank you present, to, for bringing us here, my friend and I bought my parents one of these super cool Disney railroads, and my mom still uses it around the Christmas tree every year. I love that thing, but they are very, very expensive. That being said, when I came over here, I found this little treasure. So this is a character train that is also a radio control vehicle. So you can use that around your hotel room here, out in the parking lot. You can use it once you get back home. I remember I used to love radio control vehicles because they move, they're kind of interactive. Let's see what we're looking at as the price on this guy. $29.99. Folks, I think we have our winner and it's going to be this character train for the kiddo. So we are at $29.99 going into our next item. So next, I think I'm gonna look at the home items. So right now I'm kind of in the kitchen area, which does count as home. So I'm going to look for some good things that I might use. All right, so I found these oven mitts. They have one that's a teacup, and then they have one that's a map of all of the parks. These are $15, so I think that's a really, really good deal. Um, now, obviously, it does not come in a set. It's only the singulars. Yeah, it's only the singulars, but still, really good deal. Ooh, all right, this catches my eye because I'm a huge Haunted Mansion fan, and it's a room for one more uh, Haunted Mansion oven mitt. I really like this. I'm definitely gonna keep this on my list for house. Uh, let's go look at some more, but this is definitely something I'm going to keep in my brain. These two things are really awesome. They have a nice jewelry box and a Lumiere light-up candle. Both of those are $40 though, so that would break the bank a little bit, but, uh, so I don't think we're going to do that, but these are super cool. They also have, for flower and garden, they have these super cute orange bird aprons, but they are a little pricey. They're $35.99. So I think we're gonna stay away from that. Uh, let's keep looking. All right, guys, so that's about it for the kitchen section. I think I'm gonna continue looking some more in the other home decor sections, but I will keep you up. All right, here's some of the pet tails apparel, um, including some of the 
Disney dog and cat humans collection. Um, but I'm going to be looking at some of the cat items. Okay, so they have these really cute color accessories, but those have dogs on them. Um, and we don't want that. They have these meowgical cat bowls. I'm gonna see how much those are. Ooh, that's a really good deal. That's $20. I'm definitely gonna keep that on my list. Keep looking in the section, and that's probably gonna be what I get. All right, I actually have this for my cat. It's a cat toy, and it's a ribbon. Uh, it's a it has a blue one, a purple one, and then one, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a bunch of Disney cats on it. So I have that for my cat. Um, it's $17.99, but, uh, so I think the pet bowl's on my list of main things right now, but let's continue looking. Now they do have some pet apparel, like this super snazzy shirt that Lou would look adorable in, even though it has dogs on it. Um, but they tend to be more expensive. They tend to be about $40. So I think that cat bowl is our winner. All right, guys, so the next thing on our list, we're gonna look at a houseware item. Um, just because they tend to be a little bit more expensive, I wanna go ahead and knock it off of our list. So let's see where we can get the most bang for our buck and get something really cool for the house. These uh, water bottles or thermoses that you can carry around the parts with you, and of course, you can use them once you get home too. It is the canisters of screams from Monsters, Inc. And uh, they even have a little meter on the side there so you can see how you're doing on your hydration for the day. And apparently, if you push these red buttons at the top, they will actually scream. However, I think they have a battery lock on there right now because I can't seem to make it do so. Um, but, really cool item, really original. And those run $24.99 also, so something to keep in mind. Now, who wouldn't love to have an actual Mrs. Potts teapot with chip the teacup there? My guess is this is going to be a little bit expensive though. Yeah, that's gonna be $65. That's out of our budget for today. I did notice you can, however, just get Chip. And he is only $22.99. That's not a bad deal. All right, so I was about to say Chip was going to be our winner for our something for the home. And I was looking on this rack of just tremendous items from Beauty and the Beast for your house, and I found this guy. This is a mug and tea infuser. It's a beautiful mug, glass mug with bell on it and some roses. And the tea infuser is in the shape of the rose. How cool is that? And I was shocked when I turned around and I saw that this was only $22.99. That is a win-win. We're going with that. All right, guys, so we've got both our kids' item down. That was the train set for $30, um, the radio control train set for $30, and then that tea cup and infuser for $23. So we spent $53 on our budget so far. That gives us $47 left for those not keeping track at home. And uh, now we need to get something for the pet. And for those that don't know, I am very much a dog person. So let's see what I can get for the dog. So far we have two categories checked off the list and one of them we have a question mark for which leaves myself, which I'm probably going to shop for last, um, but I'm going to go ahead and confirm that that um, Haunted Mansion one is mine pretty soon. I am going to keep looking though. Um, we'll see. I'm officially purchasing the Haunted Mansion hot holder, heat pad, whatever you call it. Um, for my home decor, which leaves only one category left to go, my category. All right, think I'm gonna get something from this wall, and I'm pretty sure that something that I'm gonna grab is um, one of my favorite shirts, and it, I'm gonna see if I can find it on the wall. Nope, not finding it on the walls, I can give you a close up, but I have a matching hoodie, and so it would have, it would be great to have the shirt and the hoodie. Um, I'm gonna see, I'm pretty sure this is still uh, 25 because uh, sorry, because it's on the rack and everything else. Yeah, so it's $25. I'm going to add that to my cart and then I think I'll tell dad that I'm done. So Emma just found me and said she's already done. Either she rushed through it or she found some really amazing items. So I'm a little worried. 
So here we have the Disney Tales rack. And they actually have a couple of racks over here that have some Disney dog and Disney cat items on them. So let's see what we can find for my little Riley girl cats. They're just so overrated. If you're a cat fan, tell me in the comments below why. I just can't figure it out. So would this need to be something for your pet, not just, you know, like a shirt for you about your pet? There's always this pet apparel that I'm not a big fan of dressing my dog up. I think my dog's okay, that's why she has fur. So let's see what else we might find that she could really benefit from. We have some bowls and pets like to eat, so that's definitely a good thing. We also have collar accessories too. We've got these bows here. Um, my dog is a girl, but I don't know that I'm gonna go that far. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we have a pet toy that's a monorail. Oh, I kind of like that. Let's see how much that is. So that is $17.99. That is a super good price. Maybe not for the toy itself, but to keep us within our budget. It seems a little high just for that little monorail chew toy though. Let's see if we can do any better. Emma keeps coming over here and spying on me to see what I'm doing. Uh-huh. Go. Go. Leave. Shoo. Shoo. All right, it looks like I'm between the bowl, which is gonna cost me $19.99. If I had a cat, well, we do have a cat, but if I wanted to get the cat something, I could maybe save a little bit of money. No, it's $19.99 too, and it's a lot smaller. So I am, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna have that uh, monorail chew toy there. We're gonna spend a whopping $18 on this thing, but I think that's gonna be our best bet. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you must. Like this video, you will. Instagram, you must follow. All right guys, so after spending $18 on that chew, monorail chew toy, which I think was the most original gift that we could get that's actually for the pet, not a pet thing for us, um, that puts us at $71 against our $100 budget. We have one thing to go, that's gonna be something for myself. Um, now, I could really use a t-shirt right now, but given that this is a competition to get original gifts, I am not going to do that right now because I don't think that's gonna give us the best bang for our buck. Uh, most of the shirts here are going to be somewhere in between 22 and about $36, depending on if it's printed, embroidered, you know, just kind of how original it is. But I've got some other ideas that could be really fun that'll give us a little bit more bang for our buck and uh, be a better gift to take home with us. These cell phone cases are also super cool. These are the expensive ones though. These are otter boxes with a pop socket built into them. Emma actually just got one of these from one of her grandparents. I'm super jealous because they cost $70. They're very expensive. They sure cost a lot more than that $2 one that we got over at the character warehouse in our previous video. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to watch that. We'll try to remember to link that in the description of this one. Something else super cool that I just found, it's beyond our budget at this point, but this is $50. It's an It's a Small World uh, cutout attraction. Um, it's actually made of wood, I believe. And you punch it out, you put it together, and it actually works. You turn these little uh, wheels, and the entire facade of It's a Small World from Disneyland comes to life. That is super cool. Again, a little bit too expensive for us at this point in time, but definitely something to consider if you come into World of Disney and are looking for something really unique. Another cool thing I just found was this Jenga Disney Theme Park Edition. This one's for the Hollywood Tower Hotel, so the Tower of Terror, super, super neat. So you can play Jenga and it's star, or it's a uh, Disney theme. Now I was hoping maybe to get this, but it is a little bit too expensive. It's $29.95, so it's about $3 more than we have at this point. We're gonna need to keep looking. All right guys, I think we found our winner. So they have these awesome cases for earphones and they have one that's BB-8. Now I saw this and I said, this has to be past our price range, right? I mean, the phone cases were about $70, some of them. So I took a look on the back side of this it's $19.99 and it's a keychain also. So for $19.99, you get this awesome BB-8 case that you can use for your AirPods or your earphones. Um, it can be a keychain too. That's amazing. So that's what I'm getting for me.
All right, guys, so we are all finished with our shop today, and I have to say, I feel awesome. I think we got some really unique items, and we stayed $7 under budget. So we got some things that, that people would come here and they wouldn't even know were available. Um, you know, things that, do, that you don't normally see at your Disney store at home in your, uh, in your hometown, right? So I'm very excited. I think everybody on our list will be very happy and uh, definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys think when you vote for me in this contest. All right, so we just finished up a really fun day at World of Disney doing some shopping for our families uh, and then also treating ourselves, which um, I'm not very good at, as I found out. But fun doesn't matter. The competition. It is a competition. And you're going to be the judge of this competition, so I need your votes. I need your votes because I'm clearly going to be the modest this one uh-huh all right so let's go through category by category and you can tell me what you got I'll tell you what I got okay all right so uh, let's talk about first something that you got for your child okay. the child for my child I got this remote control monorail which is really really fun it's like this little monorail and it has a little remote control and so it can move like side to side up and down or not up and down but like forward and backwards and so it's like a remote control car but it's a monorail so I thought that was really cool and if you're wondering, it's a red monorail. And that was $25. Wow. Um, and so I thought that was a really great deal. I was looking around the kids section. I went to the girls section. I went to the boys section. I really wanted to get something that was suitable like for both genders. And so uh, like different kids could come play with it. And I thought this was a great bang for your buck and a really unique Disney souvenir. Absolutely. You know what? I agree with that. I agree with that so much that I got something really similar. Oh my Not the monorail, though. I got a radio control Disney train. Ooh, now mine was mine was $29, so it was $30, right? So, so, so price-wise, you, you beat me by a few on that one, yeah. but I think we were thinking in the same space there, so we'll have to see when, when the people watch this video and they see the footage and what the photo of each one of these, was it worth it for the extra $6, right, or $5 after, pet, or after the roundup, you know, to, uh, to get that over the monorail. Well, it's stiff competition. Yeah. All right, so let's talk second category, all What's right? Our next category? Second category, what did you get for your home? For my home, I, like, me and my mom really enjoy baking, so I decided to get something for the kitchen. So I went to, like, there's this little kitchen section, and I got this really awesome oven mitt because I'm a huge a Haunted Mansion fan, and it says room for one more with a little plate with a skeleton hand, and that was $15. Wow, 15 bucks, that's a good value there. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, in Haunted Mansion, that always is a is a big seller. People tend to like the Haunted Mansion. I love the Haunted Mansion. You know, you know what else people like? What? Is My Girl Belle in Beauty and the Beast. So, for $23, I got, it's a glass teacup with Belle and the roses on the outside of it and an actual rose as the tea diffuser on the inside. That's cool. I'm feeling confident on this category, folks. We'll see. I, I like your oven mitt. It's a beautiful oven mitt. At the end of the day, it's an oven mitt. All right. So next category was the pets. That was kind of hard for me. Did, did you find one, it hard? I, I knew exactly what I wanted for my little Lulubu. What kind of an animal is Lulubu? Lulubu, and his full name is Lupin, and he is a kitty cat. He is precious. Um, and so insert photo of adorable kitten here. Anyway, so I got him a brand new pet bowl. It says Meowgical, and it was twenty dollars. It was, and it says Meowgical with a bunch of cats on the inside, and on the outside it has a Disney cat print with a bunch of the Disney cats and some paw prints scattered around. Awesome. Well, we we saw that bowl also, um, but we decided to to skip that. I knew you'd be getting something for Lupin, so I got something for my Riley girl. Insert photo of dog. Insert here. photo of very cute, sweet. Somewhat but elderly, cute, generic dog here. But not as cute as Lupin. Yes, not as cute as Lupin if he, she was a cat. Um, all right. Anyway, he makes her happy. All right, so I got, um, it was a uh, monorail chew toy for Riley. I did see so, that. Absolutely. Now, it was $17, which I thought was a little bit much for a chew toy. But based on some of the other things that they had for dogs, I thought it was probably the best bang for our buck yeah. in that conversation. So we'll have to see what the what the people say. Yeah. And then uh, last but not least, let's hear what you got for yourself. For myself, I have this hoodie that I absolutely love. 
Um, and I decided to get a matching t-shirt because, you know, who wouldn't want a hoodie and a t-shirt? Smart. So it's kind of like a yellow retro insert photo here. Walt Disney World uh, t-shirt that kind of has like almost like the spirit jersey D with like the Mickey in it. And that was $25. Now a big bonus of the world at the World of Disney is they have this wall that I showed you uh, that has a bunch of nice t-shirts that are at a pretty reasonable price, especially for Disney standards. Most of them come around at about $25, which brings me to a total of $85 for my shop today. Wow, that's really good. I thought, in all honesty, I thought I would undercut you on uh, what I spent today. Um, but I did not. I actually spent, I believe it was $93 once we finished. And so for myself, I got myself, it's a BB-8 keychain that doubles as a AirPod holder. Ooh. Super cool, right? And so... Now, uh, do, now do the AirPods come in? The AirPods are not included in the uh, in the holder, but I think it, it'll work for any earphones, yeah. is what I understand. So anyway, I do not personally have AirPods, uh, but I do have some other earphones, and, and so I'm hopeful that it will work with them. But uh, anyway, it sounds like uh, sounds like we both got some really awesome yeah. things. Um, staying under a hundred dollars, um, I came out at uh, ninety three, and you came out at eighty five. Eighty five. That's awesome. So it just goes to show, guys, you can get some awesome, unique things here at World of Disney um, at a reasonable price. Take home to your friends and family who maybe weren't able to make the trip with you, or just take home yourself so that you can remember a wonderful trip by. Um, so we look forward to hearing who you think won. You can go tell us either in the comments or on our brand new Instagram. You can go also follow us on our Instagram. What at, is our Instagram? At, at Nikki Ears Butterbeers. And the poll will be on our story. And so you need to follow us and then go to our story and then you can tell us who you think won. And we would sure appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is a passion project of ours and uh, we'd love to have interaction with you guys. So the more comments, the more subscribers, the more we can create community. I know there's already a lot of communities out there, but we are trying to be a little bit different. Um, we are just a, a family just having a good time and we hope you guys will enjoy this with us. So until next time, we hope everything stays magical with you and we'll see you in the next one. Have a magical day. Have a magical day, guys.